I'm not... I don't, I'm not the type of person that likes to brag about, you know, the things that I do with regards to my activism or the good that I'm trying to put into this world or, you know, the, this, the shit that I try and do. I don't like to brag about that shit because I feel like it's something that we all should do. And I'm just, I guess, trying to set an example for these young millennials and these new kids that are coming into all this social media and all this. Anyway, that being said, I'm also someone, and, I, and I've expressed this before, you know, there's a lot of shit that is, that is said about me and a lot of people I know and a lot of people I'm related to, you know, that's, that's a given, but I like, to, I like to think that I'm on a pretty good track, you know, as someone that is literally still a teenager, still a teenager, and, and, and doing the things that I'm doing, and I guess this is kind of mainly for the people that don't agree with who I am and don't agree with what I do and don't agree with my morals and all of that um, and just spend their time, you know, just trying to hurt me. Yeah, I get it. Y'all don't like the tattoos. Y'all don't like the profanity. Y'all don't like... uh, Just, I don't know, I guess my free spirit, my outspokenness and and how, you know, I'm a chick and I should be quiet. Alright, I'm getting off track here. I get it. There's there's a lot of controversy. There's a lot of shit that I guess mo- most of my following is usually you know my father's following, and they're a lot older. They watched me grow up. They saw him when he was in his very very you know younger. So I understand that you know the the older people that are watching me and are seeing what I'm doing don't necessarily agree with all of this because you know they have very conservative conservative views and you know but. I, okay, so again, this is this is for the people that, that are just constantly talking shit, that are saying, you deserve this to have happened to you. You deserve this traumatic experience. You, de- you don't deserve this privilege. You don't deserve... So I, I need you to understand that I am 145% aware of the privilege that was handed to me and the hard work that was put in place in order to get me to where I am today. Fully aware. And in no way have I ever been ungrateful to that. And it, since day one, I've always been grateful. I've always been appreciative. And I've always tried to express that as best that I can, that I would not be where I am today if it weren't for all of that. Now, at the same time, again, as a teenager, I am doing the best I can. I, I am, I'm working as hard as I possibly can to make a living for myself and create my own life and simultaneously well, I'm also creating a career for myself again at a young age. I'm I'm not trying to, you know, use this or milk this. I'm trying to show that I'm actually capable of what I'm doing. That it's not just being handed to me. That I actually, maybe I do have talent. Maybe I actually am working hard. So again, at the same time, simultaneously, I'm trying to leave a very positive impact. I'm doing the best I can for the feminist movement. I'm fighting for human rights. I'm fighting for animal rights. I'm fighting for the environment. Basically, any liberalist movement that will, you know, eventually create a positive impact on this planet, I'm trying to get involved in, while simultaneously working and trying to make money and trying to create a life. So, to those people that I already mentioned that are talking and doing all that and having very, very strong and very cruel opinions, I'm trying to explain to you that, I guess, I understand that it's not enough. No matter what I do, it, it will never be enough. And you will never be satisfied. Even though I'm 19 and even though I'm working my ass off, it's not enough. I could adopt a shit ton of kids and do a bunch of fucking charity work like Angelina Jolie and y'all will still be creating rumors about me like, she, like you do with her. Y'all, it, and how old is she? Old enough to be my mom? I'm not comparing myself to her in any any way, shape, or form, because she's, like, next-level goddess. But just as an example, like, no matter what you do, no matter what I do, people are still going to have something to say. I mean, even my closest kin. Whatever you can do to change the world, use your platform for specifically changing the world and doing all kinds of good shit and saving lives and all that, still going to be rumors. Still going to be hatred. Still going to be 
bullshit. From the bottom of my heart, I honestly cannot seem to, like, I, I, I really don't know why people, like, hate me with such a fiery passion, because I, I can see it in, in some of these comments. I can see how much hatred and, and, and passion is put into these. And I, I, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. And I, I've been told, oh, it's just jealousy, just ignore it. Oh, it's just envy, just ignore it, all of that. And I, I can see where they're coming from, but I think it's more than that. I, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's jealousy. I really, I just, I, I can't figure it out. But yeah, so message to those people. Look y'all, like, I'm trying here, dude. And if it's not enough for you, find something else to complain about. Complain about, I don't know, celebrities that are normalizing plastic surgery, starvation in Venezuela with the animals and, you know, the citizens. Complain about, you know, our fucking president. There's just, there's just so many things that we can be putting our effort into and like all of this effort that you're putting into me, a teenager, put it into something, like put it into pipelines, put it into protests, just do something. Like I understand that you want to sit on your phones and your computers and write all these comments and just sit there all day looking at your screen. That's fine. But put it in this like charity websites, put it into blogs. Do something. I, I feel like most of the people that are doing this are either like young 13, 14, 15 year old girls that should be in school or just much, much older people that should be, that can actually be doing stuff, like they can actually be making a change. Or I don't know, if you live alone and got a couple cats, feed your cats, hang out with your cats, dude. Like why, why are you focusing on me? Like I'm not your kid. I, I'm not your daughter. Stop focusing on me cannot for the life of me figure it out I just there's I I just I look at the world today I look at my fucking news feed and I look at all these like sky news and all that and I just see so much shit that needs fixing and instead of instead of fixing it we're worried about tiny little things that celebrities say we're worried about what car is she driving what does what does that her purse is she holding what, what designer clothes does she have? Is she fashionable? And if she's fashionable, is she too fashionable? Is she not fashionable enough? Does she dress like she deserves to be raped? Is she too conservative? Because usually it's one or the other. Who's she marrying? Oh my god, did you hear these two had twins? Because that seems to be a common thing. The past like three years, like eight celebrities had twins. And that was like all over the news. And... Why? And I, I blame a lot of the media outlets, Daily Mail, Rare Online, you fucking name it. They're always, I mean, you go on Snapchat and you look at those fucking news articles and they're, it's only celebrity stuff. Have you noticed that? It's only celebrity stuff. It's never, you know, political stuff. It's never stuff that actually matters. You know, and, and, and these news, news articles, like I just said, they're just fueling the fire. They're letting us know, like, subliminally, hey, we should be focusing on these people. We should be focusing on what they're wearing and blah, blah, blah. We shouldn't be focusing on politics, the poverty in this country, the genocide in this country. So again, y'all can sit there on your computers and your phones and you can use word to change your, change, you know, your phrases into these like super complex, intricate things and make yourself sound smarter. And that's fine, but that's a lot of effort. So are you going to put all that effort into criticizing every single move and word that a 19 year old who's doing her best is trying to do or are you going to put it into stuff that matters I, I really I really don't expect this to resonate with with the people that this 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 rant was aimed at because I've done this a couple times and I don't really see much of a difference but you know I'm hoping for the best so much could be like done fucking climate change out the window fuck that shit we could get rid of that shit so quickly we can get rid of trump so quickly so much shit we could do but we're not doing it we're not please please i mean i know the people that actually are, are like watching this like intently and are actually listening to my words and actually taking it in I already know most of this because y'all have been following me for a while and y'all actually agree with some of this and people that just kind of like skip through this i'm so sure there's a few of you just take a minute you know, you spend so much time hating on me, might as well just take a second to just listen. Hear me out. I might have something worthwhile to hear, to listen to. I really hope, I really hope this does something. 
Otherwise, I just wasted 20 minutes of my life that I'm not gonna get back, that I, that I could have spent sleeping. I'm in bed, I'm, I might as well do that. <laughs>